<laughs> How's it going, super friends? Welcome back to my channel and to my late review of the DC Icons Blue Beetle and the first and only accessory pack that we ever got. It really is a shame that we never did receive officially that second accessory pack because it looked so sweet. I'm gonna do both of these in one video as fast as I can because it's late, it's not new, pretty much everyone's already seen it, but I figure I'll give my thoughts about them as I open them. Both of these figures have the basic DC Icons window box, white with a basic blue or green motif in this case. The side of each package has the number of each one, accessory pack one and figure six. For the top of each packaging, Blue Beetle has his logo on one and the other one is simply DC Icons accessory pack. And here's a quick look at the other side of the packaging and also the back, which displays which figures are in the Blue Beetle wave. Now I have the whole wave, yes. And the back of the accessory pack shows the more deluxe-ish kind of things you could get from the DC Icons. Psst. This is the next DC Icons action figure review I'm gonna do. And it's also right there on the back of this packaging. Okay, so I'm planning on this being a much, much more simpler review than I usually do. So let's just take them out of the package and have a look at them one by one, starting with Eeny Meeny Miny Moe Catch a Ticker by the Toe. This one, the accessory pack. And yoink. So here's what it comes with, a little booklet that shows for whom each of the accessories are for, and obviously the accessory pack. Oh boy. Okay, wow, so that's a lot of stuff. Let's go through it all piece by piece very briefly. There's a line launcher here with two suction cups in the gun part which you can stick to one surface and to another and Batman can zip across. There's a blast of raw green lantern energy that will fit on either Hal Jordan or Jon Stewart's fist. And also a green lantern shield as you can see here. Now the cool thing about this is you can actually pull this, the back off of here, and you see those nubs? You can actually stick this raw energy blast on the end just like that as if Jon or Hal Jordan was projecting a shield off of his ring. And we got two joker fish here, just like that. Let's get a close-up shot of these things so you can see all the paint apps in the detail. You can see for something so small, they're painted actually pretty neat. There's two tones with another layer of green kind of brushed over top. The faces are painted pretty tidily as well for something so tiny. Seriously, these faces are really small. You also get these here two extra Batarang accessories for Batman. I like how they're both different. They tried to give some variation with these Batarangs. And we also get four extra arrows for Green Arrow. What I can only assume is a smoke bomb arrow, an explosive arrow, something that is just a regular old arrow, and then one that looks like a different kind of regular old arrow. I'm not even sure what you would call it. We've also got this DC Icon Size J Garrick helmet display. Oh, what we could have received had they made a DC Icon's classic J Garrick. That would have been epic. Anyway, here's this. And then we have Chip. That's C-H apostrophe P. He's a member of the Green Lantern Corps that actually kind of looks a bit like a squirrel or a chipmunk. Chip is the Green Lantern of Sector 1014, and he's a Hlevenite from the planet Hleven. I think that I'm pronouncing that correctly. He's definitely one of the cutest Green Lanterns I've ever seen. Seriously, looks so much like a squirrel. It's a squirrel in coveralls with a little lantern symbol on it and a Halloween mask. And oh, look at that bow tie. And that's it. That's the entire accessory pack. All right, so next thing's next. Let's take Blue Beetle out of his packaging. <laughs> Alakazam! Here's what we get. Two wings that clip onto Blue Beetle's back. Very nice looking, kind of like a sort of translucent-ish plastic that's been painted up here. But they're sculpted really kind of neat. They look like leaves. Or the wings of a dragonfly. <laughs> and they just fit into these holes in his back. Just like that. <laughs> And he also comes with these two guns. Here's the one close up. It's a Gatlin gun by the looks of it. Some kind of weird blue beetle scarab technology Gatlin gun. And here is the other one. Clearly some kind of blaster of some kind. Now this is the Jamie Ray's version of Blue Beetle. He first appeared in Infinite Crisis number three way back in 2006, but it actually wasn't until issue number five that he first appeared as the Blue Beetle in the suit after the scarab got a hold of him. His alien suit of power armor is all kinds of cool, granting him flight, enhanced strength, the ability to create weapons, translation of alien languages, and the ability to create and unleash powerful hand blasts slash beams. And he's the third character to assume the mantle of Blue Beetle. And he is way different than the ones that came before him. Whoa! 
Dude, I'm gonna wake up first. Looking at this guy in hand, he looks pretty darn awesome. This is one of the DC icons that just evaded me and evaded me and evaded me. He was either impossible to find or way, way, way jacked up in price. I found this guy for a song on eBay. Imagine that, someone who's not a scalper on eBay for a song on eBay, and I really, really love him. I can't believe I finally have him, yes! Look at the detail in this guy, really. This tooling must have been Boku bucks because Everything here is a brand new part. I don't see any recycled pieces whatsoever. Actually, you know what? The DC Icons wasn't actually big on recycling pieces, were they? No, they weren't. Now let's just get a quick look at that head sculpt. Because, you know, that's kind of what I do. I show pictures of the head sculpt. There it is. That's the head sculpt. And let's look at the guns. How you go about attaching his guns is actually a matter of pulling his arm off right up here. And then you got a little hole there and you just stick it right in there and it actually takes place of his forearm. So let's put both of these on. And there we have it. Ah, oh, this is awesome. Let's stick the wings on too. Wing one, wing two. Nope, wait, upside down. There, that's better. This, man, seriously, this is one of the best DC icons. Honestly, really, really cool. Now, as with all the rest of my DC Icons videos, I just want to take a moment of silence to mourn the loss of what could have been and never got released with the Blue Beetle Booster Gold Buddy 2-Pack. It would have been awesome but we never got it. This is a great Blue Beetle, but I really, really wanted Ted Cord, and we never got him. DC Collectibles, if you're listening, please send me the prototypes. Oh, bad news. I was putting his fist back on, and it snapped. Well, that sucks. That definitely puts a damper on things. Seriously, that sucks. I'm gonna have to super glue it now, and in the meantime, use friggin' sticky tack because I'm all out of super glue. That looks horrible. I've gone from being so happy to so disappointed so quick. Such is life. Okay, friggin', I went to Walmart, got super glue, and let's just fix it right now. Now hang on, man, this won't hurt a bit. Do, 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 Okay. Got a little dabaroo of super glue. It's the gel kind, I prefer the gel kind. But the sucky thing is I'm actually gonna lose the articulation there, so I better stick it in a position that, you know, I'm okay with. Ah, that sucks. While I'm holding this here, I might as well tell you that I actually prefer to use the gel super glue rather than the liquid. It's thicker, it dries a little bit quicker, and it means business. Dear DC Essentials, even though I love your products, and I've spent thousands and thousands of dollars on them, so my money is where my mouth is. Your plastic sucks. All right, the glue's dry. Let's just do the articulation and get through this. The head is on a ball joint, and it's not a very effective ball joint. I mean, it goes around and stuff like that, but back and forth, not very much. He's got that torso articulation that the DC icons have. And his is actually better than quite a lot of the other DC icons. And he's got that underneath ab crunch, so there's... There's quite a bit of possibility with this figure, at least in the torso. I mean, it could be better, but there's definitely quite a bit. He's got the shoulders, which are going to be on that. Ugh, it's kind of tight, but you can see it there. It's a hinge swivel. He's got a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. He's got the wrist. I'm not touching the wrist. You can see it's got a spinny hinge, but I'm not touching it because I don't want it to fall off and break like that one did. And then he's got... The groin there, which is on ball joints. Is it a drop hinge? No, it's not a drop hinge. He's got double jointed knees that I like those. I like those a lot, actually. I love double jointed knees that crunch right up. And of course, he's got hinged ankles with an ankle pivot. And that is what he has. That's all she wrote. That is his artic. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. He's also got the articulation here which but I guess you would call that top of the glove, but really it's only an articulation point because that's where you attach the, the guns to. All right, super friends, now we're down to the size comparison. We finally made it. So here we have the DC Universe Classics on this side and y'all know which one this one is because it's been the star of the show. Honestly, 
The DC Universe Classics one on this side really is one of the better DC Universe Classics figures. It was... had... It, let's try that again. It had better articulation than most of the DC Universe Classics. Yes, it didn't have an ankle pivot, but double jointed elbows, double jointed knees, and it was all a brand new sculpt. There was not one reused part that I could see. Maybe the hands, but really this was pretty much all new sculpting detail. And he also came with this... thing. Although, admittedly, still not as cool as these. And for our next comparison, we have the... <laughs> Wait a minute. I need to zoom in. <laughs> They're just so small. For our next comparison, we have the DC UC chip and the other star of the show, the DC icons. This one's much, much cuter, while that one looks like it would probably run up my leg and eat my eyeballs. Now, usually by this point in the video, I'd be kind of giving my opinion on whether I feel like this is a worthwhile item for you to try and go on the hunt for, or maybe order online, yada, yada, yada. But in this case, Blue Beetle is kind of hard to find and fairly expensive. I'm not exactly sure why that is, if it's because he's such a cool looking figure, or because maybe he just wasn't produced as much, but he does tend to be a little bit more expensive. And the weapons pack, I mean, I like it because I like this kind of thing, but some people really this just won't be your thing. You get a Jay Garrick helmet, you get a few batarangs, a little batline launcher, chip, some green lantern stuff, and some arrows, and a couple fish with smiley faces, but really, uh, uh, unless you can find it for a really good, low, reasonable price, I can't say, sure, go find it. I mean, it really is up to you. I just got them, and I like to make videos about pretty much all of my action figures when I get them new. So, you know, new or old, I made a video about it. But hey, these are just my ideas, thoughts, and opinions, and observations I'm sure you would have your own, so please leave it down in the comments section below. Leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and found it a useful waste of time at all. If you want to see more of my face or hands show up in your inbox, just hit that big red subscribe button, doink the bell so that you get notified of new videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Have an awesome day, super friends. Take care.